Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 30 of Let's Play Proper Portugal. Proper Proper Portugal properly attacks Spain. Because Spain's, they're jerks. They're, I don't like them and they're taking my stuff. And we've sprung on one of their fleets of... It's 32 versus 1. Actually, France is a ship there as well. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to keep my men very, very close to each other. We're going to go... Cordoba. And there. And I do expect him to have a pretty large troop count somewhere. Um, Spain should have 25,000 men. But if we keep our men all right next to each other... Okay. Lack of good maps gives us a claim on the creek. Alright, sure. We'll take it. Even though we can always use the pagan aggressive thing. Okay, so we're at full morale. We've had him, had him maxed out for quite a while. He is going to come try to fight us with 26,000. Um, if I send 12, that'll be 24 versus 26. He's not willing to come. He's going to have a river crossing, so let's just let the battle happen. And uh, hope that our military tech and cannon counts and everything just kind of match up. The terrain here is desert and grasslands. Um, the terrain here also desert, grasslands, desert, grasslands. So it's going to be a very wide combat area. He has... This is actually a lot of Aragon's troops. They've only got 4,000 cannons. I've got 2, 2, and 2, so that's 6. I don't know. I think if we actually let the battle happen, we'd win. Especially because we've got some pretty good commanders. I don't know how it works, though, if it's going to take our best commander of the three or something. But, um, he'll be there on the 12th of January. So we're going to slow the game down. And, uh, these first couple battles might make or break the game, but then again, we've got huge, huge stacks from France coming in, so whatever. So on the 12th, when the battle starts, he's got the crossing penalty. I'm going to immediately throw some men in. We'll pounce on it and hope that this doesn't take long. Six days of combat. Ooh, this is brutal. Yeah, very, very wide combat. Look at that. So now we actually have a, a regiment advantage, but he has a morale advantage because he got to beat up on part of my army. So we're going to slow it down even further, play on speed two. He's got that permanent minus one crossing penalty. Slightly higher morale, equal tactics. I'd say we've got a better mix. Well, he's got a, a good count. Good count. I don't know. We've got a lot of cannons, though. We should... I think we'll win. Especially if we keep rolling nines. Not a one versus an eight, though. I think it's just that we have better cannon count. I mean, these cannons aren't actually... Are they attacking? That cannon is. Yeah, we're winning. We're good. I know what I'm doing. Kinda. Sorta. Maybe. 1.92 war score. Sweet deal. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that was like the majority of their army right now. And they probably have some troops. Yeah, look at that. They've got 19 regiments stuck down there. Now, they're going to siege through some of my stuff, but they're stuck. And the war target was what? What did I do again? I forgot. Oh, it's the colonial war. Oops. So we're stuck. Crap. Well, um... Okay, well, we'll take one army to Salamanca. We'll take two more to Madrid. And we'll leave one behind in Badajoz. I'm actually going to be the one that has a hard time ferrying all my men safely to here to engage his main stack. But meanwhile, France is going to siege through all of Aragon and all of Spain, so... Unfortunately, I do need to go siege that war target in order to take it in the war. Nice, we just crushed Aragon's army. Let's rally both towards there. Actually, France is taking care of it. See, France is just going to take care of everything. So we'll detach and just kind of move forward. We'll just spread out. I 
I don't really see there being any problem with continuing to take all of their land. We'll just take all of it. I mean, we're going to just take everything. And then from there, I don't know. Single regiment of knights. Probably not going to be able to siege through that. Oh my gosh, is France losing? France just lost, you retards. What are you doing? Alright, well I think this is more important. How dare you, France. And actually we'll go back up to speed 4 because I don't think it matters anymore. I just wanted to watch that main first battle. Are you are you trying to sneak my men? Aragon. What are you thinking? Every time I fight against Aragon, I think of Aragorn. Fish. Come on, Aragon. Stop it. Stop picking on my bulldog. My bulldog's bigger than your bulldog. By bulldog, I mean my bitch. France. Nice. Six war score. We just obliterated that army. Awesome. Alright, back to Spain. Now, um... Yeah, that's a problem. I kind of I kind of didn't think about that. Didn't think how we were going to handle that army over there. France, go take care of it. Another papal command. Yeah, that's that's nice. Can we vote on this guy yet? No. Lost some money. Can actually invest in new technology. Colonial range. We can build a canal. Naval force limits. Increase. Oh, we want that. Yeah, that's the one. Let's build some darn shipyards. Heck yeah. Wartime. Perfect time to be building shipyards. Of course. Shipyard, 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 shipyard. Where's my shipyard? Why can't I build shipyards? All right, come on now. Didn't I read about a shipyard? All right. Apparently, you got to build up to it. Oh, come on. Fine. Build a dock and build a dry dock, so we can build, start building some shipyards. We need more boats. And I'm gonna need to, uh, I might even need to wait till we have more boats that we can ferry a nice fleet over all at once. Because that 19 stack is dangerous. Even if I, if I park like 7,000 and then bring them over, it'd take three trips to get a comparable fleet, comparable army. It is very nice how many points per month we're getting now that we've got a good commander again. I like it much. Revolt risk. Tiny, tiny bit. Ah, oh, boo, there goes a conquistador. I mean, we've got a tiny bit of, uh, of all that. I could do this. Gain one base tax. Sweet. On the other hand, we're falling behind on this. On the other hand, I'd like this, too. Land maintenance modifier down by 10%. That's what I spend a lot of my money on. It saved me 2 gold a month, which is 24 gold a year. Or we could instead get... this. But that leads towards the third idea group. Which is only two of these away. And we're already falling behind on it. Hmm. I think I should I should probably do the this administrative technology thing. 
Falling behind on tech seems like a really bad idea. And Brandenburg has a civil war. Queen, I want to buy this guy. Keep working on France, improve relations. England, uh, we'll work on them too. And Scotland was an ally. Okay, the Coimbra speech. And thus it must be, he looks out across the crowd assembled in the grand lecture hall at Coimbra University, that we may come to the aid of our country now, in its time of need, as it has always come to ours in our times of need. The pen is mightier than the sword, they say. I do not know if that is the case, but if it is, then Portugal need not fear. Long live King Yao. Long live Portugal. Jubilant are the cheers when the students, as one man, march off to join the army. <laughs> Sweet. March this flower of youth off to war. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we're almost capped out on manpower, though. War is no excuse to drop out of school. Um, yeah, it's not. National idea? No. No, 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 no. I just settled that idea. Trying to trick me into doing it. The exploitation of land and resources in the New World colonies led to an extensive use of slave labor, as a large part of the indigenous population died from over... Why am I laughing? <laughs> I am so evil. Oh, God. <laughs> the Atlantic slab... It's, it's no laughing matter. <laughs> okay, I'm going to straight face. Just take a breath. <laughs> okay. As a large part of the indigenous population died from overwork and diseases spread from Europe, the labor shortage soon became problematic. Indentured servitude lessened this somewhat, but failed to provide the workforce, ne workforce needed. The solution became the Atlantic slave trade, where slaves captured or bought along the West African coast were transported to Brazil. Over three million African slaves were sent to Brazil, mainly to work on the vast sugar plantations. We can encourage it or the crown should not get involved. I don't think local production efficiency really matters that much, does it? Let's think about it for a second. The production efficiency... Alright, so it's talking about Suriname and Sierra Rio Grande. So this is like the Brazilian area. It's like Rio Grande would get production efficiency. Which... Um, Production efficiency in overseas. Let's see. Our production efficiency right now is 30%. So in these areas, like where is, is that 30% getting thrown in here anywhere? Not really. I don't know. Um, we don't really need the prestige. So let's just encourage it. Whatever. African slaves. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. We like slavery. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay with slavery. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm enough. That's enough of that. All right, starting siege stuff. Hey, Spain. I'm trying to take that colony um, was probably the wrong one to choose. But it was the just it's just the choice that I made, so Looks like we've fully reinforced the retinues. Or not retinues, sorry, the the uh, regiments. Still banking lots of money. Um only have two colonies right now. More grain. I don't know, I do I have to go over there? Like I could just end the war based on something else. Like I could just just ignore the fact that that's what I declared it on. He would surrender. I could take Galicia, which was my intention all along if we siege it. And I could try to force him into giving me his trade power too. Should be nice. Yeah, we'll siege through everything, wreck their country. Ports are blockaded. New technology, let's pick that, for sure. Um, 
We'll pick up the new idea group soon. Which should be good. France is doing an awesome job just spreading out, taking everything. I like my buddy France. I mean, that's pretty much, we've got everything. Another conversion. We've got some Protestant problems now. Can we actually manage to convert it? Of course not. Damn religious zeal. How long is that going to last? It's annoying. Another colony. Let's go check this southern tip of Africa. See if there's another nice high income one. I didn't even... Man, that one is really good. Nice. Maybe there's another one we could do. Um... Those ones are so aggressive, I don't want to do it. Uh, we'll just take another coastal one. Whatever. It's not the best, but it'll work. Although France might burn it. Sorry, Spain might burn it. We should endeavor to end the war before the colonist arrives. <laughs> Within the next 60 days, please. If you could just please go ahead and surrender, we would appreciate it. Come on. 47, 40... 35, 30 days, surrender. I want Galicia. Alright, sweet. Got Galicia. And he's arrived. Scotland has accepted peace. Scotland, you bastard. Do you not have cannons? You do have cannons. We'll send more cannons your way. Uh, good governance would sometimes prompt the nobility to, uh, we don't care about prestige, we'll take the money. Got 99 of this stuff, can we actually, yeah, steal that guy, cool. National decisions, In so institute the Societas Jesu. Missionary strength goes up. I like it. Can we actually convert yet? Yeah! Sweet, we can overcome the religious zeal, do it. It's gonna take 101 months, but we can do it. It's a long time, and that means there's going to be some serious revolt risk over there. They've seized our colony. You bastards. I had a feeling that they were going to do something nasty to me. Now they're going to come... Damn it, I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have sent that there. Should have known better, but you live and you learn. I kind of had a feeling something bad would happen, but... And Mali has insulted me. Mali insulted me. What are you thinking, Mali? That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna let, um... I'm gonna let just a couple more of these fall. Wow. Four active cardinals, jeez. We got a fifth on deck. Seems pretty easy to maintain that. Uh, my colonist is home because he got sent back. France is a bunch of jerks. Never just go over there. Just pick something. And as soon as this one falls, we'll negotiate. Why did it go down? Here. Somebody needs to hang out and do that. Just blockade it, please. Come on, fall. Fall? Come on. Fall. Fall? Fall. Fall. There we go. Alright, 67% is good enough. I want you to give me Galicia, because it's part of my thing. That's what I want. You're already a rival, so the actual diplomatic power cost is pretty low. I also want you to give me, uh, let's see, can I give, can I have you give stuff to France, please? Actually, I don't really care that much about France, I'm gonna kill them eventually. I want Galicia, because it's my mission. I want your trade power. Uh, actually, I'm already embargoing them, we have a lot of, we already have a lot of the trade power on this node. 
They have very little. It's not that big of a deal. Let's just, um... Let's see. I want Galicia for sure. Fifteen aggressive expansion for taking that province. Probably due to war score. No, apparently it's just fifteen no matter what. In which case it makes sense to take the largest one possible. You just take a bunch of their stuff. In fact, maybe it makes sense to take their gold. France occupied it. Damn. Does that mean I can't have it? Of course not. Damn it. Damn you, France. Alright, fine. Well, I'm going to take those ones. And we're going to suffer a lot of... Oh. Yeah, that's a lot. We're going to do it anyway. And you're going to give us money. <laughs> With the colonialism cast a spell, eh? we take half of, like, four of you. <laughs> Whatever. Give me your stuff. Who cares? It's Castilian. Castilian. It's an uh, accepted culture group. We need a core at all now, which is terrible. And... Not fun. But we'll work on it eventually. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I really don't. Um, I just, I just want to kill Spain, and then that way eventually they'll stop being a threat, maybe, and I can... Because they're the ones with the idea group. Aragon doesn't have that idea group. They've got religion, trade, defensive... Spain is the one. 15 ideas? How do you have 15 ideas? You guys have more ideas than me, more technology than me. I hate you. So they, they've got the exploration ideas. England still doesn't have exploration. Ireland doesn't. France is the only other one. So if we just kill them, then eventually I guess we could just stop them from expanding. That's my theory, I guess. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, well, I'll take a break here, though. I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.